back in ETV. What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in to Balcony TV. I am Marquis, and I am here with the band Bootstraps. How are we doing today, guys? Fantastic. Good, good. Really good. Awesome. What song are we going to be singing today? 45. 45. All right. Well, let's, let's hear it out. All right, guys, that was amazing. That's wow, I actually kind of shed a tear. That's <laughs> love that song. No, I really did. That's why I have to wear my sunglasses. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> so, um, okay, s before we get to the song, I want to know more about the name Bootstraps. Where did that derive from? Um, it was. Do I talk into this mic or I don't? I don't you know. Wanna, we, can, we can do a balance. <laughs> I, I got the idea from a um, a phone call with my dad, actually, um, and I haven't told my dad this, um, but uh, he was he was I was complaining about something, and he was like, "Well, you know, sometimes you just got to pick yourself up by the bootstraps and move on." And um, I I think we'd done like three songs for the record, and we had no uh, band name. We didn't we weren't really even a band. We were just recording songs when we started and I responded to an ad on Craig <laughs> <laughs> um, no we were just doing songs and I was like man it would be really cool if um, I could just think of a spontaneous band name not like we were setting out to like find a, a name or something it just came up kind of organically and um, and so I was, and so then I went to the guys and I was like we're called bootstraps and nobody cared. Everybody, w everybody like universally was like, "Yeah, that's cool. I like that." Which is it. so crazy for like finding a band name. Like normally you're like the yeah. tiles <laughs> and the you know bulletin board. Yeah, and, going through yeah. trying to find something that matches with the song or a specific right, right. time. Yeah, I I totally get it. So speaking of the band, there's more 
of you guys, right? We were discussing this earlier, but they're yeah. not here. Yeah. Um, a lot of times we'll do stuff a little bit more stripped down just because it feels different. But, um, yeah, normally we're a five-piece live. We have a bunch of our friends play. Like our, our friend Matt um, plays drums. He's a great drummer. Chris on keys. Uh, Kay Nasty on bass. Nice. His name's Carl. but I, I like Kay Nasty better. I can't tell you why we call him. <laughs> Um, but yeah, normally it's a, it's actually more of, that was the interesting thing is that when we first uh, made, set out to do this record, it just happened so organically and we were all picking up instruments and just adding, layering upon the songs. So then when we, you know, signed a record deal and we're like, realized we had to play live, um, we were kind of scratching our heads trying to figure out how that was going to happen. But uh, yeah, it's live, it's it's nice because it, the album kind of takes on a new, um, has a new, a different and new energy um, just because when you get five people in a room together, different things start naturally happening than that, what yeah. happened on the recording. So it's cool. No, that's awesome. And not, I don't know about this song specifically, but I know you guys have had some placements on some shows, right. some CW shows, and maybe was it ABC shows as well? Yeah, actually, th this song was on um, a show called Parenthood on NBC, and um, it was actually my favorite one of those because a lot of the a lot of the uh, TV spots we've had are like someone finding out they have cancer or some kind of terminal illness. And this was actually like a happier um, spot where people were um, enjoying life rather than being like giving the news that um, someone they loved was going to die. Yeah. So, so, but it was also an amazing just sequence in the, in the show. But yeah, no, we've been super fortunate to have a, a lot of, um, Music supervisors embrace the album and the music. Perfect, perfect. And I know you guys just did some festivals as well. Which ones were those? Yeah, we just well yesterday we just we got to do Way Over Yonder Fest, which is a summer series they're throwing at the Santa Monica Pier, and that was great because we got to play with a lot of like, you know, Lucinda Williams played, and she's a big inspiration, especially for Jordan as a songwriter, nice. and uh, the local natives guys who are you know uh, friends of ours. It was great to play with them and. So we just did that, and we, you know, we did um, like a communion tour a little while ago, and different things. Now we're sort of going into, about to go into a little bit of a hibernation mode um, to continue to work on a record that we're sort of like a quarter of the way through. Um, so we'll be plopping some, a couple songs here and there just to keep people's interest. But uh, yeah, we're just work now we're working on a record. So that's good. There's nothing wrong with hibernation. Please yeah. believe me. <laughs> well, so where can you know? Everybody find you at your Twitter handle, social media, all that stuff. Well, you were going to tell them your Tinder handle too, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> we have a band Tinder. Nice. Um, you can choose from it, You get, you get the whole number. bunch? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you um, go. No, it's, it's all at Bootstraps Music. Um, bootstrapsmusic.com is a website and everything from Facebook to um, what, what are the other things? I mean, things? it's mainly I, just <laughs> this bar called Firefly in Studio <laughs> City that you could find us at. <laughs> Well, there it is. Hey, guys, if you want to follow them, check them out, see them live. Firefly in Studio City, California. It's a nice bar. <laughs> there it is. I'm Marquis. This is the band Bootstraps. This is Balcony TV LA signing out. All right. All right. Balcony TV. Balcony TV.